temperatures dream all fall, winter, and spring about summertime. Then when the temperature finally does go up, all we can think of is finding ways to cool down. For many, that means a trip to the nearest beach or perhaps a dip in a pool. An often overlooked option, lakes. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, this spot has the longest name in the world. It's just like it's spelled, C-H-A-R-G-O-G-G-A-G-O-G-G-M-A-N-C-H-A-U-G-G-A-G-O-G-G-C-H-A-U-B-U-N-A-G-U-N-G-A-M-A-U-G-G. Because life is short, most folks around here just call it Webster Lake, but there's another reason this place is notable. For 75 years, this is where the Commonwealth has gone to pledge allegiance to its country. Hey, welcome, how are you? Welcome Good. to Dean Rich. Thank you. It was known as like the Nashville of the North, one of the only places you could see country music. Indian Ranch, the summer concert shed on Webster Lake, celebrating its 75th anniversary in 2021. Over the years, a constellation of country stars has lit up the Indian Ranch stage. General Manager, Suzette Ron Coppola. There's not a bad seat in the house. And that's kind of the difference of Indian Ranch compared to, you know, the Gillettes and all those bigger stadiums. Calls of whiskey ain't working anymore. For Country Music Hall of Famer Marty Stewart and his fabulous superlatives, playing the ranch feels like coming home. And I couldn't be happy to be at Indian Ranch. I love this old place. I've been coming here since the 70s, you know, when I was a kid in Lester Flats band. And it is the last of the great old country parks standing. This is the king of them all. Indian Ranch started as a rustic retreat under the pines with benches made of tree logs. Today, it's expanded to include a campground with streets named after country legends, of course, and a lakeside restaurant, Samuel Slater's, featuring patio views and killer barbecue. Among other specialties, concha goers can come early for a lake tour on the Indian Princess. The quiet hilltop town of Royalston features a trustees trifecta. Three top-notch waterfalls in one town. Some of the best waterfalls closest to Boston are in Royalston. There is Royalston Falls, a dramatic 50-foot horsetail plunge, Spirit Falls, a multi-tiered cascade deep in the woods, and Dones Falls, a chain of cascades and pools that bump and tumble down into Tully Lake. It's a short little hike right off the main road. It's easy for people of all ages. Jessica Shands of the trustees says Dones Falls is a good choice for people of all abilities. There's actually a handicap accessible trail that leads up from the bottom that goes to the bottom falls. While admiring the power and beauty of Dones Falls, we spy a familiar face cavorting amidst the hemlock and hubble bush. It's just a masterpiece of inspired architecture, you know, and this place is truly grand. Former Channel 5 reporter David Boweri made the move out to Central Mass, drawn by a call of the wild. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I decided to live out here and make a schlep because of what's out here. It's extraordinary, and there just aren't that many people to come out here. Doan's Falls, one of Boeri's favorites, features five distinct waterfalls, dropping a total of 175 feet. So it is really a series of cascades. I guess we could probably better say that we are at Doan's Falls. A collection of falls. A heavenly spot for sure, though not without its earthly particulars. Even in the ethereal nature, we even have black flies here, just to remind you, remind us of our humanity. <laughs> Always good to see David. And back to Indian Ranch. It may be closely associated with country music, but that's not all they offer. Upcoming shows include everything from comedy to tribute bands featuring the music of Sublime, ABBA, and Led Zeppelin. They offer concerts until early October. Still ahead, snow, but not of the nor'easter variety. 